How many times a day? <laughs> Easy. And then Romain come along and I was like, hello, hello, you know what I mean? And I checked out his profile and I thought, okay, he's different. And they went from there, didn't they? Yeah. They did. <laughs> the minute new cookies do oh, it. So I know it's weird, but like. <laughs> I don't know what we can or should or we should talk about. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time we did this? 2019? Five years ago. No. 2019, yeah. Four years ago, yeah. Yeah, four years ago. We've been slacking. 2018. Guys, we've been slacking. This is really bad. It's good because we've got lots of things. Yeah, we've got it, loads so. to talk about. We, oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are joined by my amazing, incredible, lovely husband, because <laughs> we are gonna be answering a lot of your questions that you sent in on Romaine's profile in a couple's Q&A. So I've got the questions because it was uh, my Instagram that I asked the question on. So how do you not get sick of one another spending so much time together, at work, training, and home life? I often think about this and I sometimes don't really know how to answer it because <laughs> I because we gen, genuinely don't get sick of each other. No. But how is that possible? It's, it's, it's been seven years, we're into our eighth year. It's going to sound really, really cheesy, but I just love being around you. But I love being around you as well. So I just love <laughs> having you there. I love your company. Yeah. So it's like, it's always a good thing to have you there. Yeah. Same. Um, it must literally just come down to that because that we so just, strange. it's been seven years and we still love being around each other like, like we do. And now obviously we live in Dubai and you know, we still do everything together here as we did in the UK. We train together, work together. Yeah, we just don't get sick of each other. Nah. And I, I think as well, yeah. like in our, in, our, in our work, in our business, we both, we both know our roles well. So we both work together really well and we enjoy what we do. Yeah. So because we enjoy what we do, it almost brings us closer together. Yeah. And then our training that we do together, we just love training and we love to push each other. Yeah. And support each other. So it's rewarding for me to go to the gym with you. Yeah. And then home life, we're just like best mates. So we just chill and watch films or yeah. series yeah. or get food and we're always just we love to do the same things as well. Yeah, I think that's we're why, like when that. we first met, our common interests were just the same. Everything was the same. It was so weird. So yeah, and I think because of our work life as well and the job that we do, we love to push each other. So everything just goes hand in hand. Like everything just complement. Like we just complement each other really well. Yeah. But not, it's a, it's a good question because. But that's because yeah. that's not like most relationships. Um, right. And like a lot of, like someone I remember commented on my Instagram or someone saying, oh, you two spend way too much time together. And then I sat there and thought, God, do we? And I really had to question well, it. Compared like, to other couples we do. No, we do, yeah. But I guess in some relationships it won't work. Mm -hmm. But it's not all relationships. And we are proof of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's horrible it. to answer, isn't it? it? Because it's yeah. like, that answer's not really going to help anyone else. I um, guess if you find the right person, maybe if you find, if you find yeah. the right person, then it just works. Why do I do that face up here? How do you manage your work so quite similar to before? And how many times a day do you get physical? No! <laughs> In brackets, sex. How many times a day? <laughs> <laughs> How, many How many times a day? I know. Um, Definitely, guys. First of all, if you are getting physical multiple times a day, and you're into a relationship, fair play. Like, there's something going on there, though. Like, wow, yeah, that that would literally be our cardio for the day. Yeah. If we did that. <laughs> um, how do we manage our work? I think we've just got into a routine of knowing what we need to do, what, we need what to is do expected, and what works. Yeah, yeah, of both of us. Mm -hmm. And it took maybe a couple of years, not even a couple of years to like kind of get to know what were our strong points for one what another. Roles were yeah. in the business and the relationship. So 
I mean, how do you manage work? We uh, we have like tick lists that we mm -hmm. like, lists. yeah. So like the day before, we'll write out on our to do list. Well, I know I do for the next day. Like if it mm -hmm. gets to the end of the day, and I think of things. Oh, I need to do that. I need to do that tomorrow. I'll write down on the to do list, and then it gets the next day, and then we'll just tick off. And I know that's what you yeah pretty much yeah. do as well. So I've got like a notepad that I use. Oh, now I've got remarkable. Yeah, I bought him a remarkable. The thing that's that you so can good. write on, that's like so the what would you call it? It's a digital notepad, digital, yeah. really, digital. and it obviously just like records all of your scribblings or you know whatever you do onto your computer. So you've cool. always got your notes, rather than having loads of things around. Yeah. I think with the work managing thing, I think as well like we're very productive people as well. Mm -hmm. So we're up early. We're up early. We make the most of our day, and we're always we're not afraid to always work. No. If we have to. If we have to, yeah. Although recently we have tried to find a happy medium where we make sure we try and do things that are equally as enjoyable that don't necessarily involve work. But obviously there are gonna be days where we need to work into the evening, um, which has been many times. Mm -hmm. Well, it's well most, of the time. <laughs> most of the time, yeah, to be but honest. But we're cool with that because- um, For the again, last, like, God knows how long. But yeah. I love what we do, so if we have to do that, and it's for ourselves, which also feels good because we're working for ourselves, like we're getting yeah, our own business. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah. Does that answer the question? The first part, yeah. How do, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Was that in the same question? Yes, same question. <laughs> it's like worlds apart. So that's a green bird. That was like a parrot just flew past. Yeah, it was a parrot. You know the little ones with the little red beak? No, I've never seen them. I've just seen them like once in a blue moon like that. I'm... Oh! We walk past the tree and you're like, look, green birds! Yes, but I've not seen, yeah. them. I've not seen them around here before. Oh. Wow, anyway. We definitely don't get physical... It's like multiple times a day, but I would say like times. every other day. Pretty much, yeah. I would say like every other day. And like when we do like, we don't do like cookies. No, we don't. We don't do cookies, do we? <laughs> I know it's weird, but like... <laughs> no, we don't do cookies. No. What's the point of a quickie? We don't ever do cookies. I don't understand. I don't think we've that. ever done a quickie. I oh. Don't. Well, we probably have if we if we need if we Maybe had to. Maybe on a very rare For occasion. occasion down, yeah. But not... You want to enjoy... It's like usually like, like, like a thing. It's like... It's like cash. It's, like it's a passionate... Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> very intimate. Very passionate. But yeah. I think that we really appreciate each other. Yeah. I really appreciate mm. you and I find you I really, you. really hot. I'm so I want to make the most of it and make it last. Enjoy and like, it all, Enjoy you know? every second. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, it's major from you guys, but that's basically the truth. And then also we just lay there for a bit. We don't go, oh, that's it now. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what we can or we can, what we should or we shouldn't talk about. We'll just I mean, we'll do them all and we'll come I just, into. I mean, it's statue, everyone has sex, don't they? Like, yeah. it's not an embarrassing thing, really. No. It's just that we're just telling millions of people out there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, next question. Okay, where did you guys meet and were you both into fitness when you met? So, we've had this question a lot. We met on Instagram, I slid the DMs. And Lisa, had just you've just started your fitness journey or your weight training journey at least. Well, my weight training journey on Instagram. I'd been into fitness. Yeah, like, like yeah. Fitness classes, fitness classes. Just actual fitness. But mm -hmm. I'd only started my Instagram like four, not sure, maybe, maybe, it was like four, six months, months yeah. before you started before, posting. And then I found March, you. Yeah. Um, and I was competing at the time. Um, that was like my whole, I was like a full-time athlete. So yeah, we were both into fitness and yeah. we met. Yeah, and Instagram, Instagram was the way. And at the time, basically, I wasn't looking for any relationship. I wasn't interested in any guys, like, I was just like, whatever. And then Romain came along and I was like, hello, hello, you know what I mean? And I checked out his profile and I thought, okay, he's different. <laughs> and they went from there, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And that was only because you saw my picture on a clothing Instagram. Man up clothing that was, they were like sending me clothes at the time to like wear in post. Same. And then I was on their page, clicked on their page, and I just saw you. And then that was it. It was like nothing else really mattered. <laughs> no, what did you actually see? 
I'll show you how to see First, first. I thought to myself, because when there's usually a picture of a body part, <laughs> that's usually the best part yeah. of the person. Yeah. But with you, it wasn't like that. When I went to your profile, it was like way more, and I was like, like, the abs were just one of a million parts, basically. Oh, yeah, we went on Instagram. And prior to that, I'd, I'd never signed up to a dating app. No, I've never actually been on a dating app, not even signed up to a dating app, ever. Not that something wrong with that, but I'm just saying, because Instagram isn't a dating app, but it no. pretty much was for us. It's like one of the so, best dating apps, because you get to see what the person's into, yeah. like a lot about their life, or at least what they post, anyway. And how so, they communicate with people with comments. Yeah, and, if they do that, yeah, so yeah. They do that, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, okay. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been through a tough time in your relationship? Yeah, how would you overcome it? We have been through some tough times. Yeah, we have been through some we tough times. We have been through times. tough times, <clears throat> yeah. Nothing ever like, not the normal sort of stuff. I think oh, it's no, just not like- cheating or anything like that. No, nothing, nothing, like, nothing like that. Nothing like that. I think it's just like learning to live together and how to communicate with each other. I think that that's- You articulate that really well. I think that yeah. that has been the struggle for us because when you meet somebody new and you live with that person, yeah. you then have to adjust almost who you <laughs> yeah. are to be able to be compatible with that person long term, which means a lot of compromising on putting that person first as well yeah. and being able to articulate that mm -hmm. and talk about things. I think that the one of the biggest keys to our success, or probably if I had to pick one, it would be honesty and communication. Yeah. Like from the moment I met Lisa, I had quite a few skeletons in the closet and I sat you down and I was at the point where I thought if she walks, she walks, but and I this cannot. Was right at the beginning. This was like second day shit. Right at the beginning. But I could not go into this with what I thought was going to be at that stage, that early. I knew Lisa was the one for me. I wasn't going to build that relationship on lies. I didn't want to find out anything else that someone else could tell you before I could tell you. Mm. So I sat you down and I remember shaking my palms this way and I told you things I had to tell you. Um, and that set the tone for our whole relationship. Yeah, well, I was so glad you did that because I appreciated that so much because it takes a real like person to be able to do that. Uh, like I was prepared it's, for you to walk at that stage. Yeah. That was it, no, like, I, which was a tough decision to, yeah. to do. Although it, was, it wasn't really hard to be honest. I just really appreciate the fact that you were being so honest and I thought, wow, like, this is amazing. I've never had this. And the fact, like, it was our second date and you're being this honest, like, okay, this is a really good sign. Yeah. So, and... Since then, we've just continued to... We have had troubles just communicating how each other's feeling yeah, so the other one will understand. I and think, yeah, because we're very different. We're very, very different We people. come from different... Like fundamentally, we are... Backgrounds, yeah. different childhoods, different... We're different, you know? So then to live together, you really have to learn about each other's needs and what makes the other person happy. Mm -hmm. uh, and that could be something that you don't understand because you've not kind of had it yourself or do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. it's the learning over the years it, to it's, just... It's like a different language. Yeah. It's almost like this, this person's needs are a different language to what yeah. your needs are. Yeah. You have to learn the other person's language. Yeah. And I've learned so much from being with you. Same. So much in such an amazing, good way. Like, my last relationship was eight years. What the hell did I learn from that? Oh, just, you know, it was awful. But like, our relationship, I just feel like we respect each other so much mm -hmm. and we want to make each other happy and we want, and we respect each other's feelings. And yeah, so we just work together and communicate that. I just love, I just I don't I think feel so... We would have got anywhere near as far as we have if we didn't do that. Because if okay. we spend so much time together, when one of us is off, we're both off. Yeah, when one of our energy know? is... So it's like, yeah. I wouldn't say that I'm responsible for your happiness or you're responsible for mine entirely, but a large aspect of your happiness when you live with somebody is determined on your relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the reasons why we are able to work together. We are able to work together and live together and do all this stuff because fundamentally, trust and communication. Yeah. And like, that sounds so obvious, but 
Uh, most of the time when people get together, people find that hard, though. they're not as honest as they should be. And yeah. if they feel a certain way, they might be afraid to communicate that to that person. But what then happens is when they bottle it up, it comes out in a destructive way down the line. So we try and nip those in the bud. Mm. Yeah. As soon as we feel them, even if, you know, there's been some times where you felt a certain way and you feel a bit silly, mm. but you've still told me. Mm. And it, it doesn't matter what I think of it, mm. that's how you're feeling. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's what matters at the time. Yeah, exactly. And same for you. Mm. But we never, <clears throat> we never shout at each other. We've never shouted at each other like, we don't shout. We don't shout. Which I know that sounds crazy to some couples, but we don't shout. Yeah, like we're not shouty people. We don't shout at each other. We 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 do sit. We might get a bit, a little bit like, yeah, but, you know. But it's it never. Does. We never shout at each other. Listen. I just think that's disrespectful. I never shout at you. <laughs> and I think that when your emotions take over that much, that you have to shout. Nothing productive will no. come from that. Yeah, you really like, take you're a step back. And, you're yeah. not saying things that you. I guess mean or should be saying one of the two or somewhere in the middle and damage can be done so communication we just never key. done that we just we've never shouted it's never like no no i love that though. maybe we're just not i don't know we're just not like that so we just sit and talk and sometimes don't get us wrong like sometimes you know i could walk off and just be like okay i'm not getting anywhere i could just walk off or yeah, vice versa you know, like we've done that, but then later on we'll reconvene. And it's just like, <laughs> and then we... this is silly. And... Yeah, of course, yeah. like, you know, but yeah. Cool. So we've got a question here about, have you experienced low libido or have had it gone? And if so, how did you get it back? And how did you communicate and overcome that? So when I first met Lisa, like I said, I was competing a lot. Oh yeah, and I remember this. What, what happens when you compete is that you, Bring yourself down to such low levels of body fat. And just hold that thought, and just bear in mind that I've never been out. I've never been out with a competitor, bodybuilder, someone who trains like Romain did back in the day. No. So you're talking like maybe two or more hours of cardio each day, weight training, extreme dieting to to get yourself down to a very unnatural level of body fat, and your hormone balance is massively affected during that process. So we went away on our first holiday. It was like this is three weeks th after three meeting. weeks. Yeah. By the way. I just, I like needed to get away and I was like, would you, do you want to come with me? I booked us all inclusive. Yeah, um, in Egypt. In Egypt. And, but I, I literally just competed at that time. Yeah, a few days before. A few days before and my libido was rock bottom. I think it's called asexual. But, when it happens. yeah, but um, the day before you competed, I think we had sex. Do you remember in Liverpool? When I came up the day before, or something like that, it was like the day before, two days before we had sex. Oh, so then, it? and then we went away a few days after, and then it was like completely different. I'm like, yeah, but it's sort of what's going on. Yeah, it's sort of like weird how it works, but generally yeah. at that time you, you don't have anyone no. near your normal level. No, levels no, of libido, no, you didn't at all. And it was like that from that. I was like, so a couple of times when we were like getting out to business, and then I'm like, uh, look, uh, there's this. It just um, weren't working, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I was like. What's going on? I am good at what I do. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, this is okay. Yeah. And then you just, you just like said. I had to explain, but I can see how from your perspective at the time it would have been very much, this is a me thing. Yeah. Not I a was you like, thing. You know, yeah. like I had to try and tell you. Because I didn't you. understand. And once I explained the stuff, it. how it worked yeah. and talked about it, then. Then I was like, okay. Whew, like I understand that's absolutely fine like don't worry about it like just take your time do what you got to do and yeah I think a lot of girls nowadays in fitness who are in a relationship with someone who's also in fitness a guy who's in bodybuilding I think a lot of relationships go through this like the ups and downs of the hormones like sometimes you'll have loads of sex sometimes you'll have no sex for yeah. like months and months yeah, and months yeah, yeah. Um, it's just the way it goes it's just how it affects the but. body but again I guess it's just, I know it sounds cheesy, but just communication really. Just be completely open and honest with you. Yeah, you just had to really make me understand and explain. And once you did, I was, I was like, fine, that's fine. But yeah, like, mm. <laughs> we make up for it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. Um, that feels like so long ago. I know. What is your favorite thing to do t together? I think we've been talking about it. <laughs> Other than that, um, 
Oh, we have loads of favourite things to do. Loads of things. We like going out on walks. We love... Walk every day. Yeah. Do they just mean in Dubai? Or you like... just mean like, what's the thing we like to do the most when we're together? Yeah. I would say it's going and getting snacks yeah, and just eating it, them and watching films. Yeah, if it's like the simple things. You know, we yeah. love going for like out for walks and stuff like that. But like in evenings, our favourite time is when we sit on the sofa, we have a good series to watch, we go to the shop, we get some snacks, we cuddle up and we get the blanket out and then Henny comes and gets up, don't he? He lays with us and... Uh, it's just so simple. But out of that, we love um, we love holidays. We love exploring new places together. Scuba diving. We love scuba diving. Love scuba diving. Oh, we love scuba diving. Um, we love training together as well. Like training, training is yeah. always the most most exciting part of our day. Like we look forward to it. So yeah, much. like pushing each other in the gym. Yeah. Um, what else do we like? It's like the normal it's a lot, really. Yeah. <laughs> we love going. We love finding new restaurants. We love finding, we love new, finding restaurants. new restaurants yeah. to eat at because we have this app in Dubai called the Entertainer, mm -hmm. and if you sign up for it for the year, you get like buy one get one free and different offers on there. That's great. And we love going on there again, a good old bargain. And we like seeing like what restaurant, oh, what restaurant is there we can go to eat, and then we like doing that. Yeah, well. and if we. If we go to a restaurant, we share everything. So, oh, this is a good point. Yeah. So, we'll get like loads of stars sometimes, yeah. and we'll just have bits each yeah. because then we can say, Oh, how that taste? That tastes good. Yeah. How is yours? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but, we, um, we do that. We always share main courses half and half. Yeah, we do. Always. <laughs> is that weird? I don't know. Because I had a friend, <laughs> and her ex boyfriend did not share food at all. Oh, he I was like, No. Man. Get off my food to her, and I'm like, oh my god, me and Romain literally. Me and Romain, we're like, Good we share all the time. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and we like to sit on the same side of the table as well. Like, <laughs> yeah. if there's like a chair and a sofa side, we both sit on the sofa side. Yeah, we both sit on the sofa side, it's like we eat in line. Yeah. <laughs> we're weird. Aren't Very we? weird. <laughs> when one person takes a break from the gym, does it affect the other? How do you balance? We don't take breaks from the gym. If we're training together, we train together. Yeah, pretty much. Like if we're, so what I mean is, if we're taking a break, we take a break together. Go together, yeah. We're back <laughs> we on, do, yeah. Together. Yeah, um, but I mean, you know, if there's been times in your prep that you haven't trained, yeah, for like a day or two, obviously I'll go to the gym. Yeah, then. But goes on run, yeah, or I'll go on my own. Yeah, well, you go on your own. You're busy. Um, but gen generally we. Train. We kind of because we train together. Mm -hmm. If we don't ever train, it's because it's if we don't go to the gym together, it's because we're something's come up in work or something that we have to go and do or travel. So that's together. Yeah. So yeah. Do you have any Botox? Your skin is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly have any money. You were upset. 